Hi everyone, hope you all are thriving. Before initiating our today's topic, I would like to bring it in your knowledge that my channel would be mostly about sessions regarding biology, chemistry and science for all grades. I would be also discussing health relevant stuff and some motivational talks as well. Since I would be giving my time and energy into it, so I would really appreciate if you guys will hit the like button and subscribe my channel. So our today's topic is atom and its subatomic particles. So let's get started. Before we dive deep into atom, it's mandatory to know about matter. So what basically a matter is? A matter is anything that takes up space and his mass. Matter are made up of atoms. Atoms are the building block of matter like bricks are the building block of houses. What an atom is? Atom comes from the Greek word atomos which means something invisible and cannot be cut or divided. It was coined by Democritus in 450 BC. But in 19th and 20th centuries, physicists discovered that there are still subatomic particles within an atom. Like living organisms are made up of tiny cells, everything, whether it's living organism or non-living organisms, are made up of tiny particles which we call atoms. Atoms themselves are made up of even smaller particles called proton, neutron and electrons. If you talk about its basic structure, then atom is made up of dense center called the nucleus and surrounded by a cloud of electrons. The nucleus has two types of particles called protons and neutrons. The protons are positively charged particles while the neutrons have, have no charge. Hence, they are neutral. They have same mass, but electrons are comparatively very small. Protons that exist in the nucleus possess positive charge, while electrons have a negative charge, which is a same size of protons. And neutrons are chargeless or have no charge. Electrons are the positively charged particles that takes the most part of an atom. The size of an atom is determined by the size of the outermost valence electrons or orbits. So let's dive deep into the subatomic particles. Number one, proton. Proton is found in the nucleus of every element. It is forming part of the nucleus of an atom, determining the atomic number of an element. It weighs one AMU, one atomic mass unit. Approximately in every atom, protons are accompanied by neutrons except the atom of hydrogen. Hydrogen atom only contains single proton in its nucleus. Proton is a subatomic particle that contains positive charge. The second subatomic particle is called neutron and is found inside the nucleus except in hydrogen atom. Neutrons don't have any charge, neither positive nor negative. Hence, neutrons are considered as a neutral particles with no charge. They have bit more mass than the positively charged proton. The third subatomic particle is electron. It's negatively charged particle and that can be bound to any atom or found free. Can, it can also be found free, not bound to any atom. The number of electrons in a neutral atom is equal to the number of protons. This also depends on the number of electronegativity, means the strength or capacity 
with which the nucleus attracts the valence or large shell electrons for example hydrogen atom is smaller than oxygen atom due to the difference in the number of electrons in their valence or outermost shell so oxygen atom would be more capable of attracting the valence shell electron of hydrogen atom which is more likely to get positive charge during the electron negativity in the second picture of oxygen atom there are eight positively charged protons in the nucleus and eight negatively charged electrons in their orbit so the positively charged proton will cancel out the negatively charged electron hence the atom is neutral atom has the tendency to gain or lose electron in this case the ch the charge would no longer be balanced or remain same and overall the atom becomes charged when the atom loses its electron and gains positive charge or gain electron and gets negative charge then it would be cancer called as ion it would no longer be called as an atom it would be called as an ion in the pre previous example of oxygen atom which has 8 electron in its shells equal to the quantity of proton in its nucleus if it gains two more electrons and get minus two negative charge and the electrons become nine in number instead of eight now it would be no longer be equal to the protons in the nucleus so we would call is it as an ion similarly if the oxygen atom with eight electrons in its sh uh, shell loses any of its electron it would get positively po uh, get positive charge as the number of its proton would increase in number in this case we we would have more positive protons than negative electrons in this given diagram of oxygen atom takes two electrons from magnesium atom and become minus 2 ion while magnesium atom loses its two electrons and become positive 2 ion so this is what i have for you today if you find this content helpful please do like and subscribe my channel thank you so much for tuning in take care